right so all the uh, videos which the sessions which we have they get uploaded on the uh, the way you can on the youtube channel of uh, digital marketing partsha the way you can get access to them you can just type in digital marketing partsha la youtube channel so before i begin i just want to make sure that uh, each one of you knows about it so that's the channel guys and within these the playlist which you have to refer to is the sunday batch one so over here i keep uploading the sunday batch underneath playlist the sunday batch one so the last one was being also uploaded over here how to create google display this time we'll start with the on page search engine on page optimization and the other stuff i'm just sharing the link with you you can actually uh, use them so we have uh, pratham also joining in hello pratham welcome to the session and today our the topic for which we're going to uh, which we would be covering today is the on page and off page optimization which is to our, uh, which is part of digital marketing earlier we have covered the google adwords the search ads and the display ads the conversion optimization remarketing stuff all these things have been covered so far but in case you have not been part of the sessions earlier doesn't really matter because the search engine optimization has got nothing to do with the paid ads there is no co correlation between these two things just to start from the beginning on page uh, i am doing a refresher of what we covered in the seo stuff so i'll begin seo right from the beginning we did cover something about seo but why do we why do we do internet marketing uh, so the purpose behind internet marketing is to actually get brand awareness to get sales to get leads and all that stuff and uh, the way we can get hold of our potential audience is with the help of always with the help of uh, you know our marketing channels our marketing activities and within web marketing majorly uh, website is needed and if we make our website get in front of the right audience people who are looking for our products only then it makes a lot of sense so let's say if our end audience is using search engine and they are typing in something on the internet on the google search engine rather so on search engine let's say if they are typing in keyword like buy iphone 6 you know i'm just taking an example a hypothetical example somebody types that and uh with the help of optimization search engine optimization snapdeal apple.com amazon.com flipkart who are selling this particular product are reaching to that person who are who is typing this so whatever we'll study today we will study about how to get our website up here on the non paid listings or the organic listings we have covered this part how do we get about how do we go about getting our website you know these advertisements being made and being on the top the way you can ensure your advertisement is on the top is with the help of bid strategy so leena one of your doubt your question was that it's not appearing on the top since uh, you were not part of the last session uh, you can check the last session's video your doubt will get clear automatically if you will apply top of the page bid strategy your your advertisement is going to be on the top right so does everybody recall manoj uh, is here and uh, nitin also you, you were also part of it saurabh most of you aware are able to recall the bid strategy stuff which we did the remarketing conversion optimization can i get a yes or a no from you so we have uh, all right yes say saurabh manoj nitin yes say manoj yes say man saurabh okay perfect so we have uh, uh, somnath and we have pratham also joining in welcome guys and since it's a, it's your first session so we are beginning with search engine optimization and to give you a brief all the websites which rank on underneath the advertisements are called are because of the search engine optimization only these are organic listings or the non paid or the natural listings the, that's the name right natural organic or you call it as non paid listings and if you want your website to be on the top you have to do certain things what certain things which are part of seo guys there are two major things underneath which on uh, seo is being divided one is called on page optimization which we would be covering most uh, you know in most of the uh, stuff we would cover about on page optimization today 
and the second thing is called off page optimization these are two major pillars of seo these are two major uh, you know headers under which the overall seo is being divided across on page optimization and off page optimization just to give you a brief what are what are these all about what does it mean on page is all about everything you do on the website so what what do we do on the website let's say if i open this particular uh, website this website has got a you know a logo right up here then a search box then you have uh, the picture right up here then some of the text is there so whatever changes you make on the website with respect to uh, keeping in mind the search engine optimization techniques i'll tell you that that is called on page everything you change on the website in plain simple language everything you change in the website that's on page and everything which you do outside the website nothing to do with the uh, website but outside the website where you don't touch the website at all that's called off page let me give you an example with on page i have already given you example changing the text the pictures the some these are there are certain things called low, uh, tags which i'll come on to that so if you change you know the text over here you change the picture you change something that's all on page and giving you an example of off page let's say all of you have a website okay and all of you have a website and uh, after the uh, this session gets over what you guys do you actually go back and on your website you actually create some content you write some content and within that content you write that today you had attended a session by digital marketing patshala from nick and you have covered the on page stuff the off page stuff and that was a course in digital marketing and from that within that text you actually give a hyperlink you give a backlink i'll tell you how do you do that and that actually redirects to my main website which is dm patshala so from all of your websites i am getting a backlink right so we are eight people in all including me so seven of you actually give me a backlink you are sort of giving me a vote right how do we how do we go about electing a uh, a prime minister in a democratic country like us it's the voting system right similarly google also takes a voting system into consideration along with on page when it comes down to ranking your website so it's like if my website is being liked by all seven of you or my particular lecture is liked by all seven of you you would really appreciate that you will say that it was a good class it was a valuable thing which we covered and you write that down on your website and from your website there is a backlink which gets created and it gets created to my major website so google search engine or any search engine will see that and will really value that that there are seven other people who are saying that it's it's a valuable resource you know the digital marketing patshala is a valuable resource are we guys clear on the basics which i have covered just now what do we mean by on page and what we mean by off page once you say yes or a no then i'll clear the doubts and then i'll move ahead pratim manoj somnath saurav leena yes sir saurav yes sir nitin manoj says i have a question i don't have a website so are you going to pro absolutely all right sure i'll i'll definitely take your question so right pratim somnath uh, also are you clear on the on page and the off page stuff guys what i have just said right now pratim can you hear me and somnath are you able to hear me not really sure whether they're listening all right so yes manoj i'll be given so i have given a free website to saurabh uh, and nitin i booked your domain leena i booked your domain also so i'll be giving you your respective websites uh, within this week only and that would be the wordpress websites when i say uh, these are cms based websites what are cms based websites these are this is a certain tool called content management system cms means a content management system which is used to actually make changes on the website it's as simple as you know changing things on your facebook channel right the way you actually make changes on your facebook channel that's how you can really go ahead and do it you know you uh, you can simply change the text you can simply change the uh, other stuff let me show you how the overall uh, back panel is going to look like for you exactly sort of as simple as doing uh, work on ms office so i have my website dmpartshala.com i can open the back uh, you know the back admin of my website by going into dmpartshala.com wp admin so i'll be giving you your free websites and you can go ahead and 
edit that as well and then do the optimization it's all about first of all identifying four five keywords for which you would like to edit your website the very first step guys is to uh, before doing the on page and off page is to do a keyword analysis so for doing a keyword analysis just a sec so let's say if my website is dmpartshala.com i want to identify for which all keywords should i rank my website anybody who wants to make uh, make a guess so we have nishita also joining in i don't think whether she can hear me or not so anybody who can help me in identifying what keyword for a business like mine which is into providing uh, certifications and training of digital marketing if you are looking for a digital marketing training institute what sort of keywords would you guys type in you guys so sort of say digital marketing online marketing online training absolutely anybody else who wants to give it a shot lena says uh, digital marketing training absolutely so when you are looking for the pro product or services which i am trying to sell i would first of all ask my audience for doing a keyword analysis the first step for doing seo for a website is to do a keyword analysis and for keyword analysis the right way is to do a sort of a uh, you know uh, what do you call a primary research when i say a primary research just go ahead and ask your end customer what sort of keywords would you type in in google search box for looking for a person or or a business like mine when they give you these primary keywords these are called the primary keywords right nathan digital marketing or digital marketing training digital marketing certification once you get these primary keywords from your end audience you take help of the keyword tool so that's called the keyword planner which we uh, which generally also helps in the scm the uh, google adwords also which we have done so far so when i type in keyword planner i can go to the keyword planner that is step 1 guys for doing an seo of a, of any website first identify uh, the primary keywords with the help of your audience what sort of keywords would they type in this definitely match to what sort of uh, products or service the end uh, website is you know catering to once i have selected got those got hold of those primary keywords i go on to adwords.google.com i go on to uh, sorry the keywords planner tool i'm signing on to keywords planner i'm giving you the link of the keywords planner tool guys in the chat box i have shared with you the keyword planner tool url you need to open that up and with the help of this tool you will get list of plenty of other keywords which probably which you can consider for getting your website up it is very important to do keyword analysis guys why because you want to make sure that you are rank, trying to rank your website on the right and relevant keywords and you're not focusing on getting your keyword uh, website on the wrong results on the wrong uh, keywords otherwise it would be a waste of effort so this is the very first uh, thing which you will see guys once you are on the keyword planner tool select on search for new keywords using a phrase okay now like uh, you have given me a keyword digital marketing training all right so guys i'll like i said i'll be giving you each one of you your website you can select keywords for yourself as well at least four to five keywords select i'm giving an example maybe uh, you can select like digital marketing professional based in malvenagar digital marketing professional based in uh, you know central delhi something of that sort whatever you want to type in where wherever so any geographic location you can and whatever uh, profession you want to you know uh, promote across now it's asking me for the landing page my website let's say if i enter my home page of my website that's what i would do and then it will ask me for the category the category would be the education stuff and all or the training so it says jobs and education absolutely i'm going to select that and then jobs and careers or education and training i have selected the right i have uh, mentioned the primary keyword which i got hold of from my audience then i went ahead and uh, punched in the landing page which is the home page of my website and then i punched the category then i am targeting overall locations is it or i am just targeting india so let's say if i am just targeting india i can go ahead and 
select that all right and then i press and then you can just leave the negative keywords and other stuff and select on get ideas guys so can you see the list of keywords are being mentioned over here which uh, majorly people are searching for overall i can get ideas from here so instead of going for ad group ideas don't go for ad group ideas select on keyword ideas guys so once you have selected the keyword ideas right you can see what all keywords are here and which all keywords should you be targeting across so it's a digital marketing training in delhi it's a high competitive keyword with low searches so not a good keyword to target for a good keyword is the one initially if you are doing it for the very first time you're doing optimization for your website always go for a low competitive and higher searchable keyword i'm not getting hold of any keywords with that that criteria all the keywords unfortunately for my industry are high there are certain medium competitive keyword maybe i can take that an seo training institute is one right then uh, it's all across highly competitive keywords what i can do i can download all of that i can download all the ideas in an excel file and i can start picking out which keyword to be ch chosen and uh, which keywords really uh, speak the same stuff which i i offer across so a human intervention is definitely needed a human intervention is definitely needed in terms of selecting the keywords when i have downloaded this i get the entire list of keywords guys i can go ahead and select the one which makes sense for me so i'm going to since i am based out of delhi uh, i would give preference to those and then may and I, i am also catering to other parts of uh, india with the help of my online classes so we have um, many of you nitin dhruv pratim somnath all of you are from other parts of india you're not from delhi since you are part of online classes i cater to that part also i can select which keyword should i go for so advertising courses something i won't go for public relation courses i won't go for let's say i select five keywords guys the next step is to actually do a sort of a url mapping what do we understand by url mapping anybody what do we understand by url anybody who can help me with that so after doing keyword research so you know number one was keyword research guys in case you want to uh, i mean it's the video is definitely going to be there with you always after keyword research the number two thing is selecting the keywords and doing a url mapping anybody who can let me know what do we mean by url so it's a question for you guys what do we understand by url somnath saurabh pratim nitin nishita so url means the landing page all right who else abc.com says manoj what is the full form for url guys uniform resource locator absolutely the address of your website right so whatever urls are there for my website so this is my website within this website there are plenty of other web pages my website is built up of multiple different web pages right this can be a 100 page website when i say 100 page websites 100 different web internal web pages would be actually uh, part of my overall website right so i have this home page then i have the about page then i have different courses page then i have a dmp blog underneath which there's several other blogs right so the next thing which i would do i would go ahead and do a url mapping i will first of all start in an excel sheet in an excel sheet i would go ahead and type in all the key all the urls so let's say this is my very first url choosing keywords according to your absolutely right manoj so url mapping you have said that right manoj so url mapping would be like selecting first of all writing all the urls uh, across on my in my excel sheet 
and then for every web page i would map one keyword at least which i have got from the keyword you are you know the keyword uh, planner tool so this is url1 this is url2 which is the home page then i would take another url let's say i would pop you know uh, mention it over here along with that with every web page i have to see what is my web page talking about and on the basis of that for every web page i'll have at least one to three keywords minimum one and maximum what is sub url or okay, oh, pratham sub url means as in this internal page sub url is not the right uh, word as in the sub domain is there sub domain is something there so let's say it's dmpartshala.com if we have blog.dmpartshala.com which we don't have right now we have we have what do you say dmpartshala.com backslash blog a subdomain is anything before your blog uh, before your domain this is a sub url you can say i mean that's what uh, pratham manoj said uh, sub url means the subdomain but this website doesn't have a subdomain right now had it been blog.dmpartshala.com dmp has web pages absolutely it has web pages and it doesn't have a uh, subdomain if it, this would have been blog.dmpartshala.com then it would have been a sub url or a subdomain you can say subdomain is the right word all right so this is not the being created that's why it's not there all right so once you have once you have selected all the urls then you map it along with your uh, respective keywords google adwords dot absolutely adwords dot google dot com is sub url of google dot com very well said uh, manoj that's the right right example so pratham that's the answer this is the sub domain or a sub url all right i hope that answer your questions uh, pratham manoj uh, well said and uh, i'll just showcase across the url mapping of one of my client which i have done and i can share that across i can email you guys seo is so url mapping just to showcase for one of my client the way i have done it this is what i did that for, did for one of my client these were the keywords which we have identified and for every keyword we have identified which particular uh, ho, you know url we have to rank up so you can see the relevancy being there for the bo property in bhopal keyword the url with bhopal uh, stuff being there for indore it's the indore thing being there for again the bhopal bhopal for indore indore for noida noida being there for gurgaon thing the gurgaon thing is there so you are mapping in keywords uh, with respect to the keywords always select relevant and targeted keywords and that's what i want for each one of you when i'll give you these websites your websites select guys at least two to three keywords or two to rather four to five keywords and four to five urls so for every four to five keywords is something which i would want maximum from each one of you and i want you to see your assignments on that respective select at least four to five keywords and select your theme whether you want to promote yourself as a marketing professional internet marketing professional or a mobile app person or or whatever or you are a offline marketing person or in whatever profession you are in these websites which i am going to give you are sort of your online personal resumes right i uh, believe i have already given to sort of sort of what's your website url if you recall that the way it's going to look like i am not too sure what was that okay i believe sorob is in there listening sorob do you recall your website url uh, i just want to showcase to everybody the way your website sorobgupta.in okay sorobgupta.in no problem so this website guys similar to this website i'll be giving you your website i'll teach you how to go about editing this website and making it seo friendly also right so i'll touch upon the wordpress part now once you have done the keyword analysis then you have done the url mapping you have certain pages you can create pages in the, in the blog section you can see you have the about me uh, first of all you have the slider then you have the about me section you can go ahead and edit your skills part 
your experience part your education all in all you can change all that stuff you can even upload your portfolio stuff have references up here so you can edit all that across even the content stuff right and within the blog section also you can create certain blogs guys which you can edit and optimize so i would want you to at least create four to five blog posts which you can create and edit let's go ahead and start uh uh you know using this website so i'm taking saurabh's websites as an example and which you can similarly uh use for your website which i'll be giving you this but this uh week the coming week i'll just check what is the username and password just give me a moment Sarab, do you have your uh, password handy? For, if you can share that across uh, in a private chat, or rather, else I'll just uh, figure that out. So, are you guys clear on that part? Uh, which is, I mean, we would be actually making changes in this website and making it search engine friendly, right? So the how do you what exactly on page optimization is and what is off page optimization which are the two main pillars the number two thing which we did with when we get a website is a keyword analysis and uh, for keyword analysis we do a first of all a primary research we ask our audience we ask our end customer rather for the primary keywords we enter those primary keywords in the keyword planner tool and we get list of all the other two all the other respective keywords which we should target and we get the monthly searches and the competition when we say monthly searches as in how many people are typing in this keyword on monthly basis and when we say competition how many websites how many websites are actually uh, fighting for the same thing when i say fighting for the same thing i mean uh, they are also trying to rank their website up for that particular stuff all right so this is the back end guys the back end of uh, sorob's website Sarov's website looks like this in on the front page, as in the front side. For the end user, that's how it looks like. The blog section looks like this. And we, I have just entered the username and password. I'll give you the use, you know, the login URL, the username and password for your website. That's how you're going to make changes on your website with the help of this panel. Make sense, guys? That this is the see, this is the back panel of a WordPress website. all right on the left hand side if you can see you know the about education i'm just giving you a brief of how you can go about editing your website you have about education experience references let's begin with about stuff or maybe i'll just show you the easy stuff let's start with the skill first if on the left hand side i go and go ahead and click on skill you guys can actually make changes on on your skills part so these are the skills uh, which are being already with this is the dummy text which is actually present professional wordpress drupal i can go ahead and change that part over here i i have clicked on skills and once i click this part comes up and then i go ahead and click on edit part so all in all i'm trying to teach you the seo along with changing you know ma making changes on a wordpress based website which i'll be delivering it to you and then we will use this wordpress based website to make changes on the website right so i can simply uh, in a very easy fashion let's say i want to make changes from drupal to digital marketing pretty easy stuff right like the way you go ahead and change things on uh, an ms office or a face uh, or facebook stuff sorry instead of preview changes i should have done the update part so update So all right. Once it's been updated, I'll just refresh and see whether that's getting reflected or not. Right, guys. Can you see? Instead of Drupal, the digital marketing stuff is getting appear. Similarly, you can make changes on other stuff, guys. You can make changes on your education stuff, your work experience, your portfolio, and your uh, 
what do you say references let me give you an example of the references part let's say if i go to the references right so on the references part if i go ahead and edit this edit the already Anna Miller thing, you have, uh, when you click on references, you have all these references up right here. And when you have the Anna Miller thing, let's see if I wanna edit this. Similarly, same stuff, you can take references from somewhere and uh, edit that across to, let's say if I wanna type in my name, all right? I can type in my name, guys, and, oh, sorry, the caps lock was on. I put in my name, I can write in uh, whatever reference I want to post, post across, then I go ahead and edit. Now, do you know this is a separate URL, guys, altogether? You can see this is the URL, sauravgupta.in backslash references backslash Anna Miller. And you can see we can edit the URL as well. And I can do search engine optimization for this particular page, which is the on page. And I can optimize it to a certain way that it will start ranking up. Let's say if my targeted keyword for this is uh, Nick Bartler Digital Marketing, I can definitely go ahead and do that. For my particular uh, keyword, I can change that. I can first of all change this URL. All right. This is one good thing, guys. This is one thing which I want to tell you. When you are editing a URL, you don't need to be a developer for doing all these changes when you have a WordPress panel. You can make changes to a certain section of your URL as with respect to the, I mean, in relation to the keyword which you're choosing. So I have chosen one keyword, which is my name and that too for this web page. I can go ahead and change the uh, overall URL, which is the keyword driven URL. In order to separate two, uh, what do you say, keywords, I use a hyphen. I'm not using an underscore. Never ever use an underscore, never use an, a space, never use and or a dollar sign or any special character. Always use a hyphen to separate two words. So this is my first name and last name. I go ahead and do OK. All right. So that's what I have done. I can go ahead and check this page view page uh, when I click on it. So whatever thing I'm doing right now, I have made changes to the website. I've told you how to make changes and I've already, so, okay, just a sec. And I have also, I'm also trying to tell you how to do the on page. Okay, the page, it's taking time to actually create the page. It has not got saved. So I go ahead and do update. This has been done. I'll just do the change in the URL. Uh, not really sure why it's not taking. Okay, now it should. So I do the update part and I go ahead and click on. So at that point of time, I think I didn't uh, pressed on the update button, that's why it was not happening. All right, so you can see that's being there. This is another separate page, but this can be seen separately by going on to the references page. When I go to references, my name gets appeared. So whatever changes I made, those gets reflected and for every web page, I can do an on page. For on page guys on your WordPress site, very first step, very first step, why we use hy hyphen always. The hyphen is to actually tell the search engine in between two that there is a space. And search engine algorithm, the search engines actually value a hyphen only and it doesn't value the, uh, what do you say, any other special character or underscores. It's always the hyphen. So, I mean, I can't really tell you in more detail that why only hyphen is just that only search engine. It's only search engine which values the hyphen stuff, right? So for doing SEO on page optimization, guys, which is changing things on your web page, you need to make certain changes like these. 
changes in your search engine your url which has to be key, keyword friendly i have decided on having this keyword my first name and last name next thing is there is this thing called plugin guys on the left hand side we have a plugin right you can go ahead click on plugin and press add new click on add new and we always select a uh, what do you say a seo plugin it's called seo yoast is the world renowned when i say world renowned exactly i mean by that it's world renowned everywhere in the world seo yoast plugin is used and for all the cms not just wordpress but other cms also when i click on seo yoast 90% of the websites use cms and out of all those 90 websites 99% of the cms based websites use wordpress seo by yoast to make things simpler for them and eradicate their uh, overall uh, what do you say dependency on the developer now go ahead and click on install now once you click on install now it's going to ask you to activate plugin right so once you have done with the activation of the plugin all right so the plugin has got activated and now it's going to get it's going to appear for all the pages let's say if i go back to the references again that was the only thing you wanted you just had to install that plugin i go back to my references page go ahead and click on the edit part of this page now there is one small change which would have happened you know on the bottom there would be wordpress seo by yoast yeah you can see that so pratim you have a question uh, plug plugin you can start from beginning yes i mean uh, it was the beginning only pratim so i could have done that in the beginning also but uh, i wanted to tell you first of all how do you go about changing your uh, things on the website so when i once i made you uh, understand that then i absolutely right with him i agree to i agree to you so you can see for this particular page the same page which we were taking in the references section with my name and my particular name being the keyword i have selected a focus keyword you know the one of the focus keyword for this page i have selected this as my name right now this is my name uh, and uh, the moment i have pressed in nick batla my name in the focus keyword it does tell me that it is present in the article headline it says yes because uh, it's right up here the name is there in the heading and it's in the title the page title absolutely it is there which is right up uh, the page title actually the page title and the article heading is both are these and the url is this one right the url is right up here now the next thing guys it's ask me for two other things which are called seo title and meta description now i tell you what are these two things there are other rather two, uh, more things to add on to this for every web page there is a title and a description what are these things called now forget about the wordpress thing for a moment for the next 10 20 minutes forget about the what do you say wordpress stuff let me go back to google and within google let's say if i type in my favorite keyword by iphone 6 which i generally do that now once i do that you can see the advertisements are definitely up there but these websites which are ranking they do have this text right up here over here and then you have text right up here right so this is the organic listings if you guys recall when we did our uh, google search ads uh, classes we had understood what exactly is this let me ask you your let me ask some questions to you and help uh, help you recall what did what is this uh, called and how many characters are allowed in this the very first line of a paid ad 
the this absolutely it's an ad copy and the very first one which i have highlighted apple 6 amazon dot in is it the description line one to display urls how many characters so lena says 25 absolutely right and what is it called is it a description line right manoj absolutely it's the title okay it's actually not the title title is used for the seo uh, web pages it's it's called headline absolutely right nitin absolutely right lena you got that so for google search ads the headline is there and that's for 25 characters and then you have a description line 1 for 35 characters then you have description line 2 again for 35 characters now in search ads whenever you are search uh, your search uh, non paid listings you don't have description line 1 description line 2 you have title of a page title tag of a page and meta tag description of a page this is the title tag stuff guys okay this is the title tag which we as an seo optimizers always create and embed keywords into it can you see what keyword did we type we typed buy iphone 6 and do you see buy iphone 6 part of this title tag yes absolutely you see buy iphone 6 being part of it whatever search engine expert of who's ha who has been doing optimization for this particular page of snapdeal would have embedded it and the this is called title tag guys and the maximum character limit for this is i mean the ideal is 55 to 70 characters so somewhere close to 55 is good yes manoj absolutely right somewhere minimum of 55 characters is recommended somewhere between 55 60 characters is good but don't go beyond 70 characters guys don't go beyond 70 characters and similarly you have i'll tell you how do you configure that uh, when we were actually editing our page it was asking us for seo title and meta description they need to be placed across uh, on all the web pages with the same keyword with the focus keyword which we are trying to optimize that page for and the meta keywords meta description which you are actually writing over here whatever meta description which you are writing over here that gets appeared in search results in the gray text now the difference in our meta description and title tag guys first is that the position the title tag appears on the top meta description appears on the bottom the character limits for title tag is 55 to 70 and for meta description it's somewhere close to 150 to 154 characters for a meta description right so i'll be using a powerpoint presentation also guys where i have all these things written with respect to your title tag meta tag description and everything keywords which we have type in is on third position uh sorry i'm not getting a keyword which we have which we have type is on third position as in this one or is it that this one uh, can you be uh, by iphone yes we have typed in right and this is so this these are the first two ads right and then we have the third one as the non paid listings these are the seo listings these all the snap deal the apple the amazon the flipkart right so can you be a bit el uh, more elaborate nitin in terms of uh, which is on the third position is it are you talking that snap deal is on the third position for the keyword by iphone 6 is that what you mean because the first two are the ads nitin uh we can never have organic listings on the top the paid listings are always going to be on the top and whatever we have learned so far with google adwords for google adwords only the first three listings can be there right the search results underneath that they are the ones who are always going to be the organic listings with the help of uh, seo so our when when we are doing on page off page optimization both of them our website can be over here also on the first page 10th position or maybe way back uh, underneath you know or maybe on the 10th page or on, or on the 15th page so that's for there that's for sure that we can never be on the first position if the ads are running right so coming back to that guys title tag meta tag description majorly difference is that for every search results 
tight, uh, title tag is right up here. The meta description is over here in the gray. This is for 55 to 70 characters. Even a space is being counted as a character, guys. All right. And uh, this is for 150 to 154 characters. I'll share my PPT, which I have present, uh, I have it for today, that have all the details in it. But I just want to make sure that you guys understand what SEO Yoast is all about. So I can create a title tag which says, let's say, Saurav Gupta's references. So I say Saurav Gupta's reference by Nick Bartla from DMP, something of that sort I actually create, whatever, I mean, that you, this is something which you can really decide on. Once I have typed in the SEO title and similarly I can write in so i i'm not thinking of much ad copy uh, much uh, much copy which i should write in you can uh, All right, so I've got a SEO title in place and a meta description. You can see the keyword, the focus keyword was Nick Bartla. And again, the focus keyword is being used in the title and also in the meta description. You would see some changes that it says yes for meta description. It says changes for the uh, yes for the page title and for the article headline it was there. The page URL also, it, it's there. If I do some changes in my text also, Let's say I'm just changing the first two words. It will make much more sense. And that's how I'm doing on page optimization. I'm going ahead and doing update. You will see it will give me uh, a symbol that uh, this particular page has been done on page. There's an on page being done for this particular page. It says yes all over and in the page analysis similarly guys you have to do it for every every website every web page every web page it says there are certain symbols it says that there are zero words contained in the body copy i have to you know do add in some content the body copy is this one guys so i have to add in more content over here that needs to be done and it says the page title is more than 40 characters and less than recommended 70 characters so i have to create uh, write in some more words into the page title the it's saying the meta description contains the primary keyword which is my name which is good and so you know all these things have been all the recommendations are there i'll come on to every stuff which is uh, another thing called alt tag and header tag which i want to make you understand first so let's say if i have my this particular stuff being written there are other things called a header tag. Let's say I have my name right up here and I select it and I do instead of a paragraph, I do it heading one. I'm creating a header tag for my name. I'm creating a header tag. All right, so just a sec. I'm opening some extra applications which are being here. I'm just closing them. All right, so I get my name in a header. This is this is a SEO Yoast feature, not WordPress. Absolutely, these are all our SEO Yoast feature, this one. This is done by SEO Yoast only. I go ahead and update it. It's going to give me uh, I click on view page guys. Can you see this orange symbol being there? It says that, you know, from uh, 
that uh, whatever stuff I'm am I doing, how is it performing? S some of the recommendations. Some of the recommendations I'm going to get from SEO Yoast again. Oh my goodness, I didn't update it. And my focus keywords and all that have got lost. This is strange. All right, that's my mistake. I should have actually. But all in all, the idea is clear for you guys. Whatever URL mapping, I showed you the URL mapping. For every web page, when you have a keyword being defined, for every web page you have a keyword keyword being defined, open those pages from here and mention the focus keyword, the SEO title, and the description. Similarly, for the text also, you can have certain content and then certain headings, guys. Within the headers, you can actually mention some content as a heading one, which is the biggest in size, then you have heading two, bit smaller than heading three, then much smaller than two, one, four, five, six. The way we read a newspaper, we have the major heading being the uh, on the top, then we have some content, then we have heading two, and then some content, then we have sub sub heading, which is heading three, four, five. You know, in this fashion, the entire thing works. If you have two to three keywords being defined for one web page, you can use very first keyword in heading one, then very, the second keyword in heading two, then third keyword in the heading three, right? I want to showcase you, showcase to you one of my blog posts, maybe which I have for my website at present. The way I have used SEO Yoast. So all in all, the very first thing, guys, which you have to do is change your website altogether, which I'm going to give you, and make sure for every particular stuff you have a keyword being defined or you can create certain new blog post. So let's say if you are on the you know similar website, you can create blog post by going here. Go to post, create a new post, write in something and just select one keyword for that. Select one keyword for every new post. You can write whatever post you want to talk about. Let's say you want to talk about uh, you being the digital marketing professional upload any images and write in some content over here and within that do make use of heading one two three four five six play around with this with this thing guys it will help you and also do uh would you say install a plugin guys once you have installed the plugin this thing would come in the focus keyword title and description make use of your header tags also once you have made use of the header tags, let's say you're, I'm creating a new uh, blog post, which says Saurabh Gupta, digital marketing professional, let's say, or let's say I'm, so if I say, Maybe that's my keyword, okay? The digital marketing professional based in South Delhi. I want someone who types in this keyword, digital marketing professional in South Delhi, maybe. This particular web page should actually come on the top. I have got this in my article headline. I get that right up here. I can even make it selected as my heading one. Then I can write something. So maybe sort of can actually write in something So whatever he wants to write, I mean, you can, uh, you would have to write in something. You have to be a bit uh, creative about what you write. At least you can write for yourself. That's something which you can do easily, right? Whatever content you write, then again, you are writing in something. You have another keyword, let's say. The other keyword is online marketing professional in South Delhi. And you select that and you make it part of heading two. And the context, the content which you're posting, that becomes part of a paragraph. All right, so it's already a paragraph. So you have heading one, heading two, you have the article line being up there. And then you have a focus keyword, which is one focus keyword, you actually take it. 
you have then the uh, what do you say the SEO title. I mean, you can place that across at a later stage. All right, you have you can similarly have a description. Get that up, guys. And there is one thing else uh, besides using the heading tags, the title, the focus keyword, the title, and the meta tag, guys. That's called an alt tag. Now, alt tag is something which is uh, very much uh, linked to the images, guys. So let's say if uh, Saurabh wants to upload his image, he can actually go ahead and click on add a media. I'm just taking an example. I go on to media library and will select an existing image. You guys can actually choose an image. Let's say if I'm taking this image, okay. He, you can change that at any point of time. There is one thing called alt tag. You can see an alt text. Within the alt text, guys, for every uh, image which you are using on the respective page, have the keyword being there, right? The keyword being part of the alt text and added to insert it in, into the post. Now, what, what will happen? Google doesn't have human eyes. Google doesn't have human eyes, but this particular image would be re read by search engine with the help of the alt text the alt text the alternative text is right up here right makes sense guys you go ahead and update this and once you're done with this go ahead and update the entire stuff so it's saying poor but just because i haven't entered everything but this particular tool the seo yoast will keep on telling you what all to do right are we all clear on the title meta heading alt tag and the seo yoast and how do you go about changing the website whatever i have covered in the last uh, one hour guys the keyword analysis selecting the right keywords url mapping yes says manoj yes says saurabh or i vishal uh, nitin says yes so on page optimization is done by seos absolutely majorly for uh, all the non-techy people, SEO Yoast is a very uh, attractive tool to work on. And SEO Yoast, 90% of the SEO people are actually using SEO Yoast these days for any CMS, right? How about uh, Somnath, Sombhupal? What is URL mapping? Okay, Vishal, I think you joined in a bit late. I would recommend you to refer to the uh, recorded uh, video. You will get to understand URL mapping. If you have site on .NET, then you would, okay. If you have site on another technology, guys, and don't have a CMS, then in that case, you would always need to take help from your developer. There is no other way out. Because since I'm not here to teach you uh, the development part, so you can modify only if you know .NET. You can just go ahead and key, you know create title tags and meta tags. I can share another uh, Excel sheet, which I use for creating title tags and meta tags so on page checklist is there so vishal for url mapping it's like you know for every web page you are trying to map one every keyword i've spoken in detail about it in short i'm telling you you have one keyword being identified for one url and the way you do it is first of all take out all the urls and take out all the keywords which you have done and then sort of match the following which keyword to go for which particular web page so have a look at the recorded session you will get that easily so this is one uh, what do you say okay i shouldn't actually i should make it um, make you show a particular checklist which i have on page checklist which i've used for one of my client again i can share that across also with you mm. Right, this one. So you can see what I have done over here for one of my clients. I have first of all identified, listed, listed down all the URLs. First of all, the home page, the internal page URLs. Then I have created the title tags, and this particular template tells me how many how many character limits are there. So it tells me automatically that you uh, you have created 61. It's been uh, created in such, such a sense. Then the uh, meta description stuff, it's going beyond 50. And then the target keywords. I have taken one, one two, three keywords per, per particular web page. So that's URL mapping. I have these keywords 
and these keywords are going for the major uh, home page then you have second keyword second url absolutely i'll share this excel sheet and for to answer your question lena if you don't have a website in cms guys and you don't guys are not a developer then uh, you can't really uh, do anything much about it you can just create an excel sheet within this this excel sheet you can have the all the urls being listed and all the uh, keywords being listed out there and create the title tag and meta tag and send that across to your developer your developer would be asked by you to actually make edits accordingly right make sense are we all clear on to this dhruv are we clear i think you have, have you joined in just now so all right so vishal says yes saurav says yes dhruv says yes manoj says yes all right som bhopal nitin says yes somnath pratim pratim are you clear somnath whatever we have covered so far should i go ahead and tell you more okay thanks somnath right som bhopal uh, there's and pratim pratim are you is everything clear any doubts i believe pratim is not listening all right so i'll just use my powerpoint presentation which i have for today and that is all about which we have covered so far all right so we were speaking about the on page optimization and off page and whatever we have covered so far in on page i'm telling you again so we did the keyword research part guys we understood how do we go about using the keyword the planner tools to do the keyword research then the next thing was the meta tags with the title tag all tags which i told you how do they look like and how you can edit that across for every web page similarly you have the all tags which are uh, which can only be made uh, you know part of with the help of a image being there then you have the heading tags uh, which i told you there are six heading tags in total h1 to h6 and for if you can uh, choose you know at least one to two heading tags make sure that you are using the focus keyword in that then the excuse me url naming url naming was uh, also when i go went ahead and changed the url a keyword driven url within my wordpress cms but guys this is only for those now majorly websites these days are made on uh, cms only that's why i'm you know teaching you this and non techy person can always use uh, this thing uh, you know cms to address the seo stuff then you have broken links and anchor text which i'm going to tell you now guys next thing so this is keyword research title tags i've already told you 55 to 70 characters and that's how they look like the description part between 150 and 160 characters i'll share this ppt with you okay the url naming i'll i'll definitely come on to that yes the url naming is nick hyphen uh, byatla but yeah right that's my first name and last name right because that was my keyword for that particular page lena so whatever keyword i have chosen i'm taking that within the url keyword driven absolutely A manoj has said that abc.com backslash keyword so the and the uh, keywords the space between the keywords has to be addressed with a hyphen all right keyword should be in url that's url naming absolutely the keyword so url naming is actually setting up the keyword uh, setting up the url only right so heading tags and the all tags i have covered on that absolutely right so url like i said name should you have to do the url naming convention you have to make changes to your url name with the help of the cms you can edit that part and make your keywords part of the url right the name the keyword should the keyword which you are trying to include in the url should have meaningful words and like i told you in between two words you have to use a hyphen to separate one should never use an underscore space or any other characters to separate those words and urls should be shorter than 2083 characters guys i mean this is quite a lot uh, you don't you don't need to be worried about that but if you want uh, what do you say search in friendly urls 2083 characters is something which is uh, you know prescribed an example to having a good key you know url guys is if let's say you have a a very big 
uh, what do you say a portal just like amazon or something you should have amazon.com backslash the major category and then hyphen the keyword associated to it let's say the major category is the electronics hyphen uh, the keyword associated to is is buy keywords uh, buy electronics online then you have hyphen the sub category being the mobiles then you have mobile hyphen keyword associated to it would be buy mobiles online then hyphen iphone 6 that's the so maybe let's say if the iphone 6 uh, url is there then that's how the folder depth should be you have category then you have the subcategory and underneath the subcategory the major uh, primary product is going to be there so that's how your url should look like there is no underscore there is no hyphen right sorry no underscore only hyphen and no uh, you know special character being part of it right just to give you an example there are certain comparison of urls if you see the very first url the amazon url being there it does have an equal to sign it does have a you know a hyphen sign i mean all these uh, this is a very untidy url right when i say untidy url i mean it's so much uh, complicated doesn't have any sense being making into it atvpd doesn't have any meaningful word attached to it so you should have get that corrected if you have the access to making changes in your url uh, with the help of uh, the cms you have good otherwise as an seo consultant you have to always advise your uh, developer you would always need a developer to actually make changes in your url so the, even the second one doesn't have a, what do you say uh, it doesn't really look nice it's untidy a lot and the third one is the most relevant example which is clean simple not at all untidy doesn't have any equal to sign or uh, you know question mark sign so that is one of the example which i want to show you right guys now next thing is guys anchor text anybody who is aware of what anchor text is anybody the h-e-r-e-f absolutely uh, Lina. so uh, can you explain it to me in a yes in a plain english uh, would be a hyperlink a hyperlink absolutely Nitin vishal Lina. you've said that right right so like call to action on uh, with on a call to action you have the anchor text absolutely call to action otherwise is defined in a different way but uh, half and half of your answer Dhruv is absolutely right so call to action is like download now buy now get now something and then you hyperlink that you hyperlink your call to action that becomes an anchor text let me show you an example of anchor text guys how the anchor text looks like just a sec i just want to make sure the session is getting recorded right yeah it is getting recorded all right so let me take an example so can you see this particular word experience experience is a clickable text right so this is an anchor text a text which is a linked text absolutely right vishal right any text which is a, a clickable text so i'm trying to make you understand not with the help of href that's with the uh, html so any of you who doesn't know HTML or how to create an AHREF, uh, just, just forget that part. With the help of CMS, I'll help make you understand very easily. Text which is clickable, experience is clickable, education text is clickable. But is this text clickable? Marketing head, is this clickable? No, this is not. So this is not an anchor text. Text which is always a clickable text is an anchor text. So that's it. I mean, there's nothing, no rocket science behind this from an seo perspective you need to know from which all uh, text the backlinks should be created right the backlink should be there from which particular text so anchor text definition is this guys and uh, how does it it's actually helps in building relevance i mean it it's very much important to get uh, to understand anchor text from the off page optimization stuff guys all right so we'll come on to the off page maybe in our uh, next class today let's come get over with the on page i want you to start doing on page 
start uh, selecting keywords for yourself and start uh, doing the on page or url mapping you know creating title tag meta tag content for your pay stuff uploading uh, images and have the alt tag the header tags and uh, also the url uh, naming convention right all these things i want you to do that by uh, next sunday so that's why you have six days to go and in case you have questions in between feel free to email me across i'll share with share my email address with each one of you just a sec so i believe most of you have my email address if not then uh, feel free to take that down and i'll share across my number in case you want to get in touch with me on whatsapp as well so whatever in uh, questions you have feel just uh, feel free to whatsapp me across the next thing guys is cross linking any idea what do we mean by that anyone who wants to make a, uh, give it a shot cross linking so we link one page to another and one page to another can be linked within our main domain and can be linked uh what do you say outside our main domain also is anybody aware of this the reference page all right yeah so like wikipedia does says uh, absolutely right manoj so you have cross linking and the way and cross linking is also an one of the on page technique guys which is very much important let's say this is my so this was my page right uh, where is it so this was my page where i had created on sorob's website and uh, when i am created this let's say if i take this word my name is sorob gupta okay and i want to i select this word i am making it an it as an anchor text i select this and i create a link i go ahead and click on this i am making it an anchor text and i am doing a cross linking with my website by typing the home page so i go ahead and uh, op press on open link in new tab the anchor text is saurabh gupta right and i click on add link what did i do i did a cross linking guys and cross linking is healthy for every web page from search engine optimization perspective wherever you find that there is a need to actually create a hyperlink so let's say i have been into internet marketing and i you know i learned internet marketing let's say i'm just trying to make you understand now two different kind of cross linking that was the internal linking and there is another thing called back linking which is an external back linking all right so now i have some more text and i click on this digital marketing pathshala one and i go ahead and click another link but this time i'm not making it redirected to my same website i'm making it redirecting it to a different domain altogether just have a look guys what did i do in the first example this particular text was being hyperlinked and made it go to the main home page of this site this is my internal page where i am making changes right i'll just update and then showcase it to you uh, just a second so i'm updating this so i have given a backlink to a third party domain and i have given a internal link i have done internal linking also so i'll go ahead and check this view post i'm trying to make you understand what cross linking is an internal cross linking and an external cross linking an external cross linking is also called a backlink and that we'll understand more in depth when we'll study off page optimization so this was the overall text guys can you see uh, this is my what overall url where i have my name is saurav gupta if i click on this it will go 
to the same domain the major domain is sauravgupta.in so uh, linux is cross cross linking can be done within domain internal or outside domain external what's the use of outside domain we are talking uh, we are taking user outside our website all right so if we are doing okay very good question if you are taking user outside a website then absolutely uh, if we are sharing certain uh, valuable content it is making some sense but uh, majorly we try to get backlinks from other sites now in this particular scenario lena where the web user is getting outside our website absolutely it is not much of a benefit for us it's not not much of a benefit but generally people do backlinking uh, which is a sort of a two way process now if i have taken a backlink from sorob's website to my main website which is digital marketing partshala digital marketing partshala website will gain benefit out of it but not sorob's website but if i get to, you know do a deal with let's say sorob and i tell him that sorob you give me a backlink and i give you a backlink or both of us give a backlink to each other then it makes sense many people do it this way you know it's a give and take process right it's like handshaking absolutely i have told sorob that sorob you give a backlink from your website so from sorob's website digital marketing partshala is getting a backlink and similarly you know and similarly uh, i get a backlink and sorob get a backlink so we both of us are giving backlinks to each other this way make sense guys is everybody clear on the internal linking and external cross linking and external cross linking is like giving a backlink to the another site sorob says yes vishal says yes right can i get a yes from uh, others manoj says yes dhruv says yes all right yes says nitin all great says lena somnath thank you so much pratim uh, are you able are you there if uh, just let us let me know if you got that all right so i believe pratim is not able to hear or something so that's about cross linking guys and so this is cross linking use the correct words in anchor text that's for sure that's for there so whenever you're doing an internal and cross uh, internal linking and external cross linking make sure right text is being used in terms of doing a cross linking and internal cross linking always helps at least two to three cross links from one page to another is a recommended thing higher your web portal i mean bigger your web portal higher in size it's going to uh it's going to need much more internal cross linking right all right so broken links guys is the next thing so uh lena says do google search engine prefer site to be cross linked do a absolutely google prefer site which have internal cross links all across do our organic rating does get better absolutely that's the reason why i'm telling you that internal cross linking is absolutely a yes when it comes to making your website rank higher on the targeted search results great i believe i answered your question next thing guys is broken links what do we mean by broken links so coming to the same example again let's say when uh, from sorov's website this particular link has been given a backlink okay when somebody clicks on this okay when somebody clicks on this the major ur the url which opens up that user actually gets redirected to this particular uh, website now let's say for some reason i have deleted for some reason i you know this particular uh, url dmpartshala.com has been deleted or has been changed or done something then what will happen sorob's website will have a broken link that there is a link present on sorob's website but it is not working when being clicked this particular url is not working as of now it's working but when it will stop working it will be a broken link for sorob's website if you will have broken links on your website it's going to impact your search engine rankings so it's always good to have a key, keep an eye on the overall broken links guys and uh, the way you can do it is you can identify whether all the links on your website are working or not is either do it manually but if your website is very big you can use a tool called brokenlinkcheck.com okay 
so let's uh, try using this i'll just uh, type in let's say my website and see whether there are broken links on my website or not brokenlinkcheck.com i'm just sharing the url with you i've shared that in the chat box i go ahead and click on find broken links all right it's asking me for the captcha z s 2 j 2 find broken links now it's going to do its work now so it's going to take some time guys all right so it says there is one of the link which is broken and this is an internal link only all right so the way you have to get this sorted out is either by going on to this particular source okay that's not going to help you so you have a server response of 404 so majorly you take help of your uh, developer so much more broken links are coming over across page not found yeah i'll i'll come on to that part 404 what exactly it is and what sort of 404 you should have 404 page is something guys which was existing before but it's not present now so you know or maybe someone has typed in something and it's not appearing all right so there is a backlink which is being created somewhere and uh, it'll give me all the information when it gets done in full so it's telling me where exactly is this yes it it's a, a it's an error the double times the http thing has been uh, submitted somewhere by someone so maybe any of my uh, developer would have actually done that as of now what i can tell you uh, the basic the Im important thing is to find out all the broken links and share that across with your uh, developer to get that fixed up and uh, you would have to check where are these urls actually appearing so this url once it gets completed when it uh, does the processing part we can check where are these uh, really located right so uh, the next thing which you have opened me uh, which you have asked me is 404 guys a 404 let me tell you let's say if i type in this url and I, after that i type in anything i do an enter i'm trying to teach you a 404 a poe page not found this is a very relevant page not found 404 or something like let's say snapdeal has a very great 404 stuff let's say i type in snapdeal.com or anything you know someone types in the wrong url the domain is right but uh, after that something bad is being written you know something which is not existing page which is not being existing that's how a 404 a uh, page should look like and only a developer can actually build a 404 configure that for you and once they configure that the right way to have a 404 guys is to have the top navigation being part of uh, the website and the uh, what do you say the footer being there so that the links are over there even on a non existing page and uh, what will happen with this with the top navigation and for footer being there part of uh, the 404 whenever there is a end user coming on to the on to your site and reaching on to 404 the chances of losing that customer is very less the chances of losing that customer is very less because the customer will still have something or the other to look at same is with search engine search engine will also jump from one page to another whenever there is a 404 so what you have to really consult to your developer is to have a 404 page something of this sort nothing uh, i mean 
a page which is totally blank is never ever recommended generally people don't have 404 configured properly but for this website which i have i am giving you this is uh, this is a good 404 it's, it's reason being it's asking you to giving you a link which says go home all right so you have less probability of losing that customer 404 is configured properly on this web on this uh, website all right so 404 guys and the broken links are the same stuff and uh, within the 404 that's how you can configure it majorly are 404s which needs to be configured they used to exist before absolutely right yeah they th these ones you okay that's this is the place where these urls are actually existing all right i have to check yeah so this is the you i believe uh, 404 where it's appearing somewhere So all the URLs are right up here. I can go ahead and check them and uh, get them figured out, get them uh, configured either by my developer or uh, manually. I have to go to all of them and get them worked up. Right. So that's about the broken link things, guys. You can check it with the help of brokenlinkcheck.com. The next thing is robots.txt and sitemap.xml these are two important stuff guys which i want to tell you uh, what are these major things all about in on page optimization is anybody aware about this what robots.txt is and what sitemap.xml all about these are two major files guys this might appear uh, that what exactly is this i mean it looks like a very heavy word robots.txt and sitemap.xml but these are certain web uh, what do you say certain files which are uh, to be created and uploaded on the root folder of your website to give instruction to the search engine for uh, to come onto your website and index your website index all the web pages let me tell you robots is a uh, is a file which gives instruction to the search engine in terms of what pages to index index in the sense as in read and save that across in google's own search database and which all pages not to be indexed why would we ask search engine to not to index certain pages any idea since we are learning seo what do you why do you think we would request search engine to not to read certain pages of my site where would be what would be the reason no it's not black hat way no, no, Dhruv, I am not teaching black hat at all. Robots.txt is uh, all these are all good things, whatever we are learning. So, like I said, rob with robots. So, because some files are private, absolutely, some files are private. Like any example you want to give me? SEO crawl on right, uh, search in crawls on right pages. So, what are right pages as per you? write pages shown to user like login pages right some some of the times it's either the the login pages or the payment pages guys when i say the payment gateway pages have you ever seen the payment gateway pages being uh what do you say uh, payment uh, the payment pages of any search in uh, these e-commerce sites being ranking high nobody does that right the client data or something which is absolutely bit secretive you don't want to exp you know showcase that across to everyone you just want to showcase that to uh, what do you say yourself only right you can do that by asking google to just index 10 pages out of your 15 pages website and rest five pages to be not to be indexed at all right and this is a file which is a notepad file any idea what is the extension of a notepad file guys so like we have a, a word doc which is a dot doc so sort of says dot txt 
anyone else who can tell me which what is the extension of a notepad file dot txt says lena dot txt says sort of dot txt says through absolutely so we have to create a txt file guys pretty simple there is there are certain commands to it i would open a notepad file and i'll tell you some of the content which you you know the content is actually the just a sec all right so the content which i am telling you is actually the command one the very first thing guys which we have to type always is user agent colon and then comes the asterisk which is shift and eight user agent means search engine we have to type user space agent then these two dots which are called a colon then space and the other thing is called the asterisk this asterisk is shift and eight a strict means all the search engines we are giving command to all the search engines sometimes we don't allow even the back end of our website to get uh, indexed and for that we create a robots.txt whatever websites we are i am going to give you guys they'll have the robots.txt by default and uh, but you can see that with the help of this particular command let's say i, I want to showcase it to you for sauravgupta.in website i do it backslash robots dot txt with the uh, seo yoast plugin and also with the wordpress this is configured you can see user agent colon asterisk and then disallow wp admin what is wp admin guys this is the wp admin right this uh, sorry something of this sort i mean the back end from which where we were trying to configure our web page that is the wp admin right so this is the wp admin uh, which is being disallowed similarly we can go ahead and disallow that disallow colon backslash wp admin backslash majorly this is the most common one guys this is the most common one which is being used if you have a different cms you can use let's say if it's a magento then you can use a magento majorly it's a back page if you want any particular other page which is to be disallowed you can write disallow and then the url uh, let's say you want the references one you can write you don't need to write the entire put, uh, domain you can just write references now references part will not be uh, you know indexed at all make sense guys once you are done with this go ahead save it save as as robots.txt and then send it across to your developer your developer will actually have to upload it on the root folder when i say the root folder the main folder of your web website pretty simple but it might appear to you it might sound to you that it's bit complicated or it's bit a technical stuff but not really this is needed in order to make sure that your website is uh, indexed properly by the search engines is everybody clear on the uh, robots stuff guys just one thing which you have to recall is user agent colon and then the disallow part of the wp admin yes says saurav yes says dhruv nitin pratim nitin says yes vishal somnath manoj vishal says yes all right somnath pratim all right yes says lena yes says manoj somnath are you clear on this part any questions you have pratim somnath all right not uh, able to all right somnath great so in case you have further more question you think you're not able to ask me over here you can still email me across so that was about robots guys the next thing guys is called sitemap anybody who knows what sitemap is i can check so sitemap would have also created anybody who is aware about sitemap it's a local map okay what else 
Anybody else who wants to give it a shot? So let me showcase one of my website. It's called yocreations.ca backslash sitemap.xml. Sitemap guys is something which is a sort of a skeleton of a website. When I say skeleton, it does have all the links of my website. When I say all the links, the home page, the about us page, that this, that, I mean the other ones. All the URLs are being made part of sitemap and the uh, files which we create with a sitemap is an XML file and absolutely it's a sort of a tree. We create that and we submit that across again on our website. So these two things guys, robots and sitemap, you have to, you can just create save and then send it across to your developer for uploading it and uh, you can upload so that first of all with robots the instruction is given to the search engine and second thing is with uh, the xml sitemap all the uh, all the web pages which are there of your website they get into the notice of the search engine let's say your website has got 100 pages but google has only indexed 90 of them Google know only that 90 pages are there in your website. The rest 10, how would they get to know with that help of XML sitemap which you will create? There is this particular tool guys called xmlsitemaps.com. With the help of this you can create it and I wanted to show you how it looks like. So these are all sitemaps on my website uCreations.ca. Let's say if I click on testimonials part. So you have all these uh, pages being part of it you know you have all these pages which fall under this per particular thing a per particular section the sub that sitemap uh, testimonial part then you have the category one these are two different sitemaps so i mean in case it's getting clear to you it's good in case not in plain simple language you can understand robots and sitemap are files which needs to be created to give them you know instruction to the search engine to index these some of my pages and not to index some of my pages with sitemap you have to tell to the search engine that please uh, consider all my search all my pages on my website web pages which are not trying to uh, index and have stopped from robots don't include you don't have to include that this particular tool which i told you uh, works very similar to the broken link thing you go on to xmlsitemaps.com, enter your website URL. Let's say I do that. I mention my website and then I go ahead and press start. For 500 pages, it's going to do it for free. Oh my goodness, some error occurred. All right, so I'll try doing it again. So it's going to take some time to uh, get the sitemap being created. All right, it started working. So you can see it has started working and started fetching out all the pages the end file which we are going to get out of it will have the overall sitemap guys and once we get that we can download it from here and upload it across on the major root folder of our uh, website if you guys know the development part you can use the ftp and upload it on the root folder in case not, then I'm not going to teach the development part because it's a bit risky. I don't want to teach uh, right from the beginning. The How do you go about? So all in all, many search engine optimizers don't know how to do it. They all, uh, a developer should always be there to really help you out with that. So you would take need to take assistance from your developer to upload that file across on the root folder of your website. Okay, it's gonna take some time. All right, I, I think it makes sense, guys. Uh, the robot stuff, the sitemap, 
yeah so the site map looks something like this i've already shown you yes says vishal right so that's in all guys about the on page optimization i'll share this overall uh, presentation with you so this file is sitemap.txt no 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 which file sitemap is not on txt it's sitemap.xml sitemap is xml you see sitemap.xml yeah so you want to check for this is generated by this tool yeah i'll share this across yeah you can actually uh, create this with the help of this tool right guys so i don't want to start with off page any tool to create robots yes there are tools to create robots also lena but i was uh, trying to tell you in the most easy fashion which you can do it so robots.txt tool also robots.txt create a tool the one which i use i'll just share that across yes i use the tools.seobook.com or the robots so i'll just share this one yeah so right this is the one you can use but i generally go ahead with writing it in the notepad file which is pretty easy stuff you can uh, go ahead and mention so it says user agent star it's disallow colon since something is not nothing is being disallowed that's why it doesn't say something if you want to disallow let's say a particular directory a particular folder right not really sure why it didn't change okay you should start with right it say you should start with right now it so you have the mobile section yeah absolutely sorry it is the seo book yeah and then you have let's say wp admin you want to restrict so you can add that too so you can see you had disallowing the other stuff and the other just these two part the wp admin and the mobile part all the other things are covered into it right makes sense guys i want to share across couple of websites which you should be part of uh search engine watch so it's search engine watch.com and then you have uh, search engine uh, land.com so there are couple these are couple of sites which you can always uh, be part of keep reading stuff from there uh, in case you want to make your uh, career build your career into internet marketing these are some of the uh, renowned sites and uh, just read them as what do you say as a bible you know every day if you can spend half an hour to 45 minutes uh, on this that that's really going to help you make sense guys one more thing guys there are couple of uh, so i'm going back to the website the wp admin of the website which sorok's website is there there are a couple of plugins which are helpful from a seo perspective you can install google analytics and google webmaster these are two so go on to plugins and then click on add new google webmaster and google uh, analytics these are two tools which are relevant for any search engine optimization expert if you want to check how many people are coming onto your site and on what particular date you can add in these two plugins so first of all do google analytics all right select for that and install it so the very first plugin which we did was the seo yoast the second one which i uh, 
recommend is the Google Analytics one. Go ahead and activate this. And then the third one, guys, is Google Webmaster. I'll show you how do we configure this in the next class. Oh my goodness, okay, it has to be the plugin one. Uh, it's had new, I mentioned over there. Go ahead to plugins and add new and type in Google Webmaster. So configuration is needed. It's a pretty easy stuff, but I don't want you guys to actually feel overburdened by th with today's session. So go ahead and install this. Whatever we have covered today, get hold of at least you know five keywords and create five blog posts. Five blog posts for every blog post. Just concentrate on one focus keyword and have a as long tail keyword as much long tail keyword as you can. Let's say if your name is, I mean, uh, you know, your name is Dhruv Shah. Let's say you write Dhruv Shah Digital Marketing Professional based in Ahmedabad. So, or maybe Digital Marketing Professional based in Ahmedabad. That can be a keyword, one of the keyword. Second keyword can be Internet Marketing Expert in Ahmedabad. Something of these sorts. I mean, just for a trial sake, have these kind of keywords. You know, uh, Nitin, a uh, digital marketing professional based in Punjab or based in Ludhiana. Something of these. I'll give you your websites. Uh, I have booked your domains for Nitin Dhruv and uh, Lena or Manoj. I'll book it for you and I'll get the websites up for you. For this week, try getting hold of your websites edit them and along with that uh, upload the SEO Yoast plugin and play around with the SEO Yoast plugin. That's fail, very important. I don't want to jump on to the analytics and webmaster integration along with off page. That's going to be if you guys will get time, you can read about off page optimization and also about uh, webmaster Google webmaster and Google analytics. Right. So in case you get time, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, till then, I want you to uh, work on that the, the stuff which we have covered today. I'll upload this recorded the recorded session of today's uh, class, guys. And that's I hope if each one of you are aware where exactly can we find that? Is everybody aware of that? Yes, PPT absolutely. I'll share that, and uh, Lena, I'll do that, and Saurabh, Lena, Nitin, all of you know where the. Uh, video is going to be i hope each one of you know about that Dhruv, i hope you also know about this so what you really need to do is go on to youtube.com so that's what i'm saying vishal i probably if i won't be able to send you the email the place where you would you can get hold of the video is just go and subscribe i hope most of you have subscribed to the digital marketing Patshala channel just go to uh, YouTube, search for Digital Marketing Partshala. You can see 69 videos uh, and 157 subscribers are also there. Click on this channel and within that, there is a playlist. So on my YouTube channel, DM Partshala 1, Digital Marketing Partshala, you have a playlist, which is Sunday batch, May 24th 1. And within this, you will have the new video uh, right up here. All right, makes sense, guys. I'll upload that across. Go, I mean, do visit this and make changes on your website. We'll meet next session with with uh, next session. We'll meet with doubts which you will have, and also we'll uh, cover the remaining stuff of SEO, which is the off-page optimization, Google Analytics, and Google Ad uh, Webmaster. Right, makes sense. Are we good? 13, 14 more minutes to go. Any more questions or any queries I can take? I don't want to start with off page today because it's a longer topic. Again, it will take some. What is the purple hat? I'm not really sure where is the purple hat. So, okay, it's what is purple hat? Okay, there is black hat, there is gray hat, there is pink hat, and there is white hat, but I'm not too sure what purple hat SEO. Are you talking, Dhruv, about uh, purple hat SEO? Is that so? Is this a new term? I haven't come, or, come across to this. 
because there are four types of hats which i am known uh, gray hat white hat purple is in ipl i think purple hat seo let me try so this is something which is similar to black hat i believe purple hat seo techniques okay okay gray hat gray hat is something which is in between white hat and black hat so guys with seo there are there are three major things in which seo is being devised one is called white hat whatever i am teaching you that's all white hat in another words it's actually it means all the legal stuff all the uh, right things which google permits whatever i am teaching you that's all white hat and black hat i am not teaching you at all black hat is like keyword stuffing creating backlinks from various um, you know bad websites and all that stuff but gray hat is something which is in between white and black hat which google is not able to uh, you know get hold of easily but these days even gray hat is i've seen that so i'm not going to teach you gray hat and black hat at all everything which i'm teaching you is totally a white hat so let's say if i create you know give you giving you an example of gray hat drop let's say if i want backlinks from uh, 10 different websites i will create 10 different websites on my own and from the other 10 websites i'll start uh, creating backlinks and getting onto my main website so this is a sort of a gray hat which i ne never uh you know talk about and this would be more clear to you once we'll do off page uh, people use the black hat and gray hat especially when it comes to what you say uh, backlinking or let's say in the title tag which you are creating if you are copy pasting uh, title tag of uh, your competitor you know if you have a competitor and from there you are actually copy pasting their title tag that's also a black or a gray hat technique so which is never ever recommended don't ever copy content from your competitor's website it is it is simply a no it is simply a no right guys make sense are we all good so uh 10 more minutes to go should we wrap up the sessions or in case you have further more questions i can still wait all right so let's uh what is root folder root folder is the very first folder so let's say if uh my main website so let's say i have this folder structure this is my dropbox okay so this is my root folder which is dropbox and then within this you have folder then you have sub folder then you have sub folder let's say i go on to this so what is my root folder over here dropbox.com or you have this particular folder then you have this particular folder can you see the folder structure you have 1 2 3 4 your main root folder is the major folder all right yeah all right guys uh it was pleasure having you all here and then we'll meet next sat uh, next sunday same time same uh credentials for signing in is needed right so you would have to uh, ask me for the a uh, link to actually enter into the session uh, saurav says thanks the session was great and unbelievable thank you so much saurav for your kind words i i really appreciate each one of you for being participative and uh, it always becomes a great session because uh, you guys interact and participate thanks manoj thanks leena i really appreciate thanks nitin thanks pratim thanks somnath and uh, thanks dhruv for thanks to each one of you for for joining in the session and we'll meet next sunday same time 2:45 and same login credentials would be used all right bye now